Hello, my name is Eric Aguiar, and this is my reference video for the subscription function I made for the FIU VIP website. My user story is card number 667 and card name subscriptions on Mingle. A description of my user story is as a student, a student should be able to subscribe to FIU VIP to receive email notifications. There are two acceptance criteria. A student can subscribe to FIU VIP and a student can unsubscribe to FIU VIP. Here we have our project documentation page which goes over our system design. I'm going to scroll through it quickly and if you want to read it in more detail you can pause the video. Now let's go over some diagrams for my user story. A student, once verified, will be able to subscribe and unsubscribe from the FIU VIP website. For the class diagram, the only relevant classes are the ones that are related to the subscription class. Here we have the profile page which calls the profile controller. This con profile controller calls and passes information to the subscription service, which routes to the subscription class. Now we will go over the subscription sequence diagram. When a student accesses the profile page, the profile controller will automatically call a GET function to the repository which will then return the user's email or email does not exist which are actually flipped. Three should be user email and five should be email does not exist. If the repository returns user email that means the email was found and the checkbox will be checked when the profile page is loaded. If the repository returns email does not exist that means the email was not found and the checkbox will be unchecked when the profile page is loaded. When the student checks the checkbox, the profile controller will call a create function which will save the student's email to the repository and return a success message. When a student unchecks the checkbox, the profile controller We'll call a delete function which will delete the student's email from the repository and return a success message. Now we will go over all the code for the subscription function. Here we see an HTML file of the profile page. When a student accesses the profile page, the profile controller will automatically be loaded. Here is the checkbox that will tell the profile controller it has been checked or unchecked and will be the same checkbox that the student will use to subscribe or unsubscribe. In the profile controller, we are automatically doing a get function when the controller is loaded. This get function sends the student's email as a parameter and tries to find the student's email in the database. If the user is already in the database, then the email will be returned. And if the email is equal to the student's email, then they are in the database and the checkbox is going to be checked. If the user is not in the database, then email does not exist will be returned, which means the user is not subscribed and the checkbox is going to be unchecked. If the checkbox is checked, then a create function will be called, which saves the student's email from this database and sends an alert to the profile page saying you subscribed. If the checkbox is unchecked, 
then the delete function will be called, which deletes the student's email from the database and sends an alert to the profile page saying you unsubscribed. From the profile controller, all of the functions are being sent to the subscription services, which are doing an HTTP post, get, and delete. And then they are being routed to the subscription routes file. Here is the subscription routes file. The dot post function is saving the student's email to the database. The dot get function is looking through the database for the student's email. And the dot delete function is deleting the student's email from the database. And now here we can see the subscription model. One shortcoming of my user story is that when the user clicks the checkbox to subscribe and the pop-up pops up, the browser could also ask to stop opening pop-ups from this page. And if the user stops opening pop-ups from this page, they could possibly spam the checkbox, which may cause an unexpected performance. And if you see here, if we click the checkbox twice really fast, the browser will suggest to prevent this page from creating additional dialogues. And if you check this, no more dialogues will appear, which means you can spam the checkbox and possibly cause unexpected performance and or errors. This concludes our reference video about the subscribe function.